Baruch Hashem, it is day number 293 of our daily study of Rambam Sefer Mitzvahs, and in the three chapters a day study track of Mishnah Torah, we began yesterday a new section. Uh, we are still in Sefer Mishpatim, the Book of Judgments. We're in Hilchas Shailu Pekodin. Shailu Pekodin means borrowing an object, or conversely, um, depositing an object in somebody's care. So our mitzvah today is actually a repeat from yesterday. Positive commandment 244, and that is the mitzvah to follow the Torah's laws regarding the borrower. In other words, the liability that a borrower assumes when he or she borrows something. As I mentioned yesterday, the borrower is the weakest position of the four types of watchmen or shamanim, which we've spoken about in previous days' lessons. And I, I, as I mentioned yesterday, it's because the borrower, remember, the only reason he has possession of this object right now is because he's asking for a favor. He's borrowing it. He's getting a freebie. He's getting a favor. So he assumes the highest level of responsibility. However, there is an exception. The exception is... Remember I mentioned yesterday that let's, you know, to illustrate how weak the position of the borrower is that let's say he borrows an animal and the animal just ups and dies on him, which was clearly beyond his control. He's still responsible for it. Okay. There's an exception to that. The exception is if the animal dies in the middle of doing the specific task for which it was expressly borrowed, then he's exempt. So let's say he borrows an ox to plow with. While he's walking the ox to the field, or he's walking the, the ox back from the field, or even right before he drops it back off at the car rental lot, I mean, ox rental corral, or whatever it might be, um, he's going to be obligated to make restitution, because remember, borrower is the weakest position. However, if he, in the middle of the plowing, remember, he borrowed, let's say, the, the hypothetical example is he borrowed an ox for plowing. In the middle of plowing, if the ox dies, then he's exempt. That's the one time the weak position of the borrower is not as weak because it, that's what he borrowed it for. So then it's sort of like expected that if you borrow an ox for plowing or you borrow a horse for riding, let's say, then it should be able to stand up to that type of treatment. And if it doesn't, then we say it's not his fault. Okay, that's our mitzvah for today. We'll see you for more tomorrow, God willing.